Hi, I'm Michelle Robinson and I thought it was time for another story. This one's a story of mine called Counting Sheep. It's illustrated by Nikki Dyson and published by the good people at Walker Books. Um, have you ever had trouble getting to sleep? Maybe you've been too excited, maybe you're doing something exciting the next day, or maybe you've just had a lot of fun and your head's busy with thoughts. Some people say that you can imagine lots of sheep and that you're counting them. The more sheep you count, the higher the number you get to, the sooner you'll start to relax and forget all that excitement and calm down. It is a good method and it can help you sleep. Um, it just kind of depends how exciting those sheep are. The sheep in this story are very giddy, some very giddy little lambs who do not want to sleep at all. And Sam, the sheepdog, is trying to help them count. And this is how the story goes. Let's see. It's been a busy day on the farm. The rooster is already first asleep. Sam, the farm dog, is very tired too. He's been herding sheep all day. Settle down, everyone, he tells them now. It's time for bed and Nikki's drawn them. You can see they are bouncing all over the place and bah, and going and wiggling their little woolly bottoms. The sheep are in no mood for sleeping. Not to worry, Sam has an idea. Have you heard of counting sheep? Count yourselves and go to sleep. The sheep try their very best to join in as Sam begins to count. I wonder if you can count the sheep with him. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, biscuits, bah, six, eleven. That's not the best counting, is it? But they're trying. Um, keep practising, Sam says, dashing off across the fields. He spotted someone else who's wide awake too. Oh dear, this is a very wide awake farm. Why are you horses still up? Why is everyone still up? It's bedtime, says Sam. Can you count just like the sheep? Now count yourselves and go to sleep. Hmm. Do you think the horses will do a better job than those giddy lambs? Let's have a look. Nay, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's lovely spelling, but we're trying to count. Oh dear. Sam's feeling sleepier than ever. I think he's a bit tired of all these hard work, very giddy animals, isn't he? So even the sheep is still having a try. Ba ba. The horses are doing their alphabet and the sheep are still baaing. Poor Sam. And no one is in their bed. What? Have a look at this spread that Nikki's illustrated. All these animals. Oink. Quack. Weak, weak. Moo. Not even the cows are asleep. It's past your bedtime, says Sam, leading them gently into the barn. Do you think maybe now they'll start to get sleepy? Come on now, cows, says Sam. Show every horse, pig, duck and sheep how they can count themselves to sleep. Ready? Shall we try? One, two, moo. goodness. They're still not counting, are they? They're just mooing. What's got into everyone tonight, Sam wonders. Perhaps the hens can tell me, although I expect they're already in bed. Oh my goodness, what a hullabaloo. Let's see what the hens are doing. Maybe they can uh, count. Oh my whiskers, what is going on? The hens are more excited than anyone. They say, look, 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 look. What are they looking at? Oh, wow. Busy hens. No wonder everyone's feeling excited and wide awake. Sam smiles. Your eggs are hatching. That's why everyone on the farm is giddy and excited and not ready for bed. There's some chicks hatching out. Then Sam has his best idea yet. Gather round everyone. Let's try counting their eggs together. So the animals concentrate really hard and count along with Sam. Come on, let's give it a try. No mooing, 
no doing your alphabet we're going to count this time and no shouting biscuits either one two three four five six seven eight one nine ten lots and lots of chicks ten chicks hatching out of their eggs you did it sam says hens and horses cows and sheep everyone let's go to sleep but sweet dreams little chicks sam whispers i know someone who'll be very excited to meet you in the morning who do you think's going to be excited to meet the chicks uh-oh it's their dad the rooster and he says cock a doodle do and look poor sam <laughs> he's wide awake again i hope they all settle down don't you i think they will and in case they don't on the last page nikki's drawn this lovely counting page and sam says can you count all the animals along with me. One sheepdog, two horses, one, two, three cats, there's pigs, one, two, three, four, five ducks, one, two, three, four, five, three little ducklings and a mummy duck and a daddy duck, uh, cows, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little mice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sheep and lambs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Hens, nine brown hens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten little chicks freshly hatched. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, that's better. Feel a bit more relaxed and ready for a nap. So that was counting sheep. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy practicing your counting. Maybe it'll make you feel sleepy. Who knows? Have fun. <laughs>